This is the Razer Plus. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. Okay, very simple. First thing is going to turn it on, press and hold that power button until it says booting up. Once it's up, you should be at this welcome screen. Hi there, go ahead and choose your language from here. I'm good with the English in the US. I'll tap on start. It says here you can go ahead and connect to your mobile network. You can go ahead and insert your SIM card now, but what I do is I'll do it after I do the setup. Okay, so for myself, I'll do skip, and I'll make another video how to insert the uh, uh, SIM card after it's set up, and the link will be in the description. So next is go ahead and um, connect to your Wi-Fi. If you don't see yours here, you can select down here, see all Wi-Fi networks, tap on that. And then let me go to my Wi-Fi network here. Let me input my Wi-Fi password. And then I'll tap on connect. Obtaining IP address, it said connect it. Getting your phone ready, this may take a few minutes. Privacy and software updates, go ahead and read through these. These are both optional, okay? So it's up to you. I mean, I'm fine. I'll just go ahead and, for myself, I'll just turn these both off and I'll tap on accept and continue. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, basically your Gmail, and more. Okay, and you can do that with a different device. So, for example, I can press on next here. And if you have an old Android phone or tablet or even an iPhone, keep it turned on, keep it unlocked, and bring it over here. And then press on next. Okay, but for myself, I'm going to go back here. And this is a fresh new install for me. So, I'm going to click on don't copy for myself. Here's your Google sign in, sign into your Gmail, or you can create an account, or you can skip in and do it later. Okay, for me, I'm just gonna skip and do it another time. I'll skip there as well. Google services, go ahead and read through these. These are all optional as well. Use location, allow scanning, send usage, and diagnostic data. These are all optional, okay? So it's up to you. But for me, I mean, I'll find what all of them toggled on, and I'll tap on accept down here. Asking you to set a PIN password. You can skip this, but I would advise put in a PIN now. It's four digits, so let me choose my PIN here. After you put your PIN in, tap on Next. It's going to ask you to re-enter one more time. Then press, press Confirm. Unlock with your fingerprint, basically a fingerprint password. You can skip this, and you can do it later if you wish or whatnot. But let's go ahead. For me, I'm going to do mine now, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on Set Up right there. The sensor is the power button, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my finger on there. Touch and lift, so we're gonna keep on going until that circle completes. So just keep moving your finger up and down. I can feel the phone vibrating as I'm doing this all around your finger. Okay, there we go. And touch unlock, which I will keep mine enabled. And then we're gonna go ahead and press on next here. So the fingerprint is added. Now if you want to, you can add another fingerprint or you can just click on done and you can add another fingerprint at another time if you wish as well, okay? Now I get this message here because this is sold by AT&T. However, this phone is unlocked because I use uh, T-Mobile. So, I mean, for myself, this is optional as well, but I'm gonna turn that one off and I'll tap on accept. Let's stay in touch. Go ahead and you can subscribe, put your uh, email down here if you wish. But for me, I am not interested in any of these and now we'll tap on next review apps these are apps will be downloaded over Wi-Fi click on OK and while uh, we're in business is ready to go explore your device you can go ahead and look through this or you can just tap on maybe later and there we go pretty simple